Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing amazingly well. If you're new to my channel, my name is Abby and I make videos about fragrances. And if that's not something that you'd be interested in, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Kindly give me a thumbs up and also follow me on Instagram. So I'm going to start this video because obviously this video is about the most worn perfume of August. Um, but you guys will be seeing this around the 3rd of September, 4th of September, on a, on a Sunday anyway, you'll be seeing this video. Basically, I went out and I purchased a fragrance. If you've not watched my last vlog, head over there and watch that vlog. It's short, it's sweet, it's simple. It takes you around London, Selfridges in particular, and you guys get to kind of come out and shop with me. So, at the end of that vlog, I actually... Um, left you guys hanging on the fragrance that i did purchase and the fragrance that i purchased is the prada um paradox which is right here if i can reach it so this is the prada perfume it comes like so in a box which i just love the whole aesthetic and you know the whole packaging and everything um it came in this bag as well but this is like the um, carrier bag so this is the perfume i smelt it i went up and down selfridges maybe about five times before actually purchasing this perfume i went shopping i wanted to see how long it lasted i wanted to see if it smells really good as it did when you first spray it but anyway this is the perfume um i didn't want to open it because i wanted to open it together i wanted us to open it together so it came with a free seven mil sample which is lovely actually let's open that one first so this is the seven mil really really lovely i like that actually um, so many other places are selling this perfume different people have different gifts to go with the perfume some people have like a makeup um, purse um, extra seven mil samples two mil samples but no one that I know of any anyway, apart from Selfridges and maybe Harrods are giving out the boxes like this anyway this is how it comes inside and I got myself a 50 mil um, because I did not the 30 mil, I felt like I was just going to finish it up too quickly. So I thought 50 mil is the perfect size for me. I did not need the 100 mil because it was just huge. Actually, no, tell a lie, not 100 mil, 90 mil. So the perfume comes in 30 mil, um, 50 mil, 90 mil, and the 100 mil is the one, um, it's a refillable size. So that's really good. Like they've made everything refillable, which is just fantastic. So I was definitely be getting that once i run out of this but let me go ahead and open this and i'll be right back so here is the box very nice and simple box um nothing really out of the ordinary and this is the perfume this is such a beautiful packaging and that was that was what intrigued me to want to try this perfume because i love the packaging the um, glass is thick, but it's quite light, so it's not like a heavy bottle or anything like that. Now, first of all, I'm going to start off by saying that this perfume is not special at all. It smells like your white floral um, perfumes like Bon in Roma, perfumes like um, um, Lieb. Uh, there's so many white floral perfumes. This perfume fall under the same category. It's not going to blow you out of the park. But out of all those perfume, I really like this. I really, really like this. I think it's quite lovely for what it is. It's definitely one for spring and summer. But I can see this working into transitioning into autumn for I'm sure. I'm just going to spray it on the box to remind myself what this smells like. Ah. <sighs> It just has this burst of freshness and sweetness um, I'm gonna get the notes for you guys there's a lot of notes in this perfume so this has notes of pear tangerine bergamot jasmine orange blossom neroli amber musk benzoin and bourbon vanilla so like I said it's your 
I don't want to say generic. I don't know. I'm just gonna say generic. It's your generic fruity floral that every is mass appealing. Everyone is going to like this perfume. It is not offensive. It's one that I can imagine people really dying over. When I was at the counter, um inquiring about this perfume i think like 20 people bought it within a space of a short time so people love the packages that's what everyone was going on about the packaging is beautiful the bottle is stunning and you get a free sample which is um a bonus so should you run out and get this i feel like the perfume that is most compared to and most similar to is born in roma but i feel like born in roma in a dry down is sweeter than paradox I personally prefer Paradox. Born in Roma, it's not a perfume I've ever felt I needed to buy. It could be because a lot of people have it and I smell it almost every day on someone. So Paradox, I feel like it's a little bit better. It, it looks better, that's for sure. And it's definitely quite feminine, sweet. Um, just your sweet, girly perfume. The longevity on this was round about three hours where I could smell it really well but after that it went into skin scent deep into my skin <laughs> where I could barely smell it anymore do I regret buying it nope I think it's so lovely it's so nice the bottle is beautiful I'm going to repurchase it because I love the bottle I love the way it smells it's simple it's nice easy reach you don't have to overthink it it's just a lovely scent if you have a large collection like myself this is going to be a little bit underwhelming, but it doesn't mean that it's not a lovely scent. It's a lovely scent, nice for spring and summer, great for transitioning into autumn, and it's a beautiful everyday, even date night. Even date night, you can wear this on a date night. It's such a pretty, pretty scent. So this is Prada Paradox. So now we're going to talk about my most worn perfumes of last month because we're already in September and I'm going to speed through this because I don't like my videos to be too long. I can't see through long videos myself. Like I get, I get bored very easily. So I'm not saying that's how you guys are, but just in case you're like me, I want to speed through the video and give you the most information you need to 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 know about these fragrances and i'm not going to put them in any particular order and i'm going to start with this perfume right here this is light blue intense by dolce and gabbana i've always said this is the ultimate summer perfume if you're sweaty if you're like if you feel like there's no perfume that can kind of like overcome sweat <laughs> Best believe this perfume can. This is one that I either wear in the spring and summer or I wear to the gym because it keeps me so fresh. That lemon note stays really prominent from start to, um, to finish. It has that crisp, um, really, really fresh and cool vibe to it. It's quite musky as well. It's such a beautiful, beautiful spring summer scent that gets me compliments a lot. It's perfect for anyone, perfect for men and women. I prefer this one to the men's version. The men's version smells funny. There's an eggy type of sea smelling note in that one that just you know drives me crazy. I don't like it. So if you're a man, please get this one instead. It smells so much better. It's so fresh. It's so beautiful. It's very, very long lasting. So this is Light Blue Intense by Dolce and Gabbana. So the next perfume is Gris Dior by Christian Dior. I am obsessed with this perfume so much. This is rose, patchouli, oak moss. It's like a watery rose. It lasts long. It smells great. It's one that gets compliment a lot. This perfume is so well blended. It's the perfect patchouli. The perfect amount of patchouli is in here. A lot of people that I know do not like patchouli. But the moment they smell this perfume, they cannot believe it actually has patchouli. The patchouli note is definitely prominent. You will smell it. But the way it's mixed with the rose and the oak moss really helps balance it up. It smells divine. Definitely one of my favorites from the Christian Dior Privé line. I would highly recommend you guys get your nose on this one if you haven't already. It's stunning. This is Gris Dior by Christian Dior. The next perfume um, on this list is C Fiori by Giorgio Armani. This is perfect for transitioning into autumn. I cannot get enough of this perfume. It's finally, like I can't find it anywhere in the UK before. John Lewis had it and a few other websites have it. 
but now it seems to have disappeared um but this perfume is amazing it's so creamy it's so sweet it's so it's so feminine i really enjoy it it has no roly it has it has rose it opens up with a lovely black currant uh, mandarin orange type of opening so you get that fresh fruitiness in the opening and it dries down to a beautiful creamy rose uh, musky kind of scent the only complaint i have is that it doesn't last at all well let me not say not at all i feel like this lasts maybe about two to three hours in which you're like you can get a whiff of yourself but after that it's gone it's, it's gone long gone but it's a beautiful beautiful scent it's my favorite from the whole um c line i just think it's such a pretty easy grabbing grab and go you know you don't have to think about it it just smells so beautiful so this is c fiori by giorgio armani the next perfume is lost cherry by tom ford i cannot get enough of this perfume I have worn this perfume so much it's like my daily perfume this is the ultimate cherry perfume it's the best cherry perfume in my collection and in my opinion it's got some liquor kind of um, note in there which gives a little bit of booziness it has some almond it's like a sweet and sour cherry vanilla um, boozy kind of fragrance really beautiful a lot of complaints about the longevity which i agree agree with spray a lot of this perfume on you like once you shower while your skin is still wet cream this is what i do anyway while my skin is still wet i would use um a body oil like unscented body oil and i start to spray this perfume once my body is dried up i wear my clothes and i spray this perfume again and it does last a decent amount of time people will smell this perfume on you people will ask you what you are wearing lost cherry it's amazing it's really really amazing um i did a review like, where was it last week um comparing the server so slightly to the new um love fest by kayali i do think they smell similar in the opening only a little bit not so much but there is a similarity in the opening but this is a better perfume to me in my opinion love fest is beautiful but that perfume just evaporated from my skin way too fast i'm going to use it up i'm gonna layer it with this one as well and once i'm done with that perfume it's unlikely i'll purchase it again so i'm gonna stick to my lost cherry for my cherry fix um it's a perfect perfume also to transition into fall because it's just beautiful so this is tom ford lost cherry so the next perfume is Cassili by performs the mali this is one of the best fruity floral perfumes in my collection mimosa frangipani sandalwood vanilla it just reminds me of like a creamy fruity sorbet very very stunning for spring and summer um this one would give delina a run for its money but a lot of people don't really talk about it because delina is constantly taking center stage in the whole performs the mali line but this is definitely one to check out if you haven't already if you're looking for that fruity creamy a little bit sweet kind of scent definitely reach for this perfume it's tropical perfect for the spring and summer months and it's also great for transitioning into fall as well so this is Cassili by performs the mali the next perfume is La Belle by Jean-Paul Gaultier. This is vetiver, this is pear, this is vanilla. It's a very sweet, it's a very sweet perfume, but I don't find it too sweet. It doesn't linger on mind, it just smells like a fruity, sweet scent. This is perfect for date night. Men love this perfume. It smells so yummy, it smells so inviting. It just smells amazing and it lasts for such a long time. Jean-Paul Gaultier does perfect sweet fragrances for women. There are quite a few that I used to use back in the day that I don't anymore because of how sweet they are. But I feel like this one is perfect. The new one, the newer one to this um, perfume, La Belle Terrible. <sighs> if you've not checked out my review to that perfume, <laughs> please do. I'm going to link it up there for you guys and in the description bar below. That perfume was a no for me. I've heard people say they like it and I just don't get it like I can't I just can't wrap my head around it anyway check out that review if you're looking to purchase that perfume it's meant to be limited edition but it's still everywhere so 
if you wanted to get it go ahead and do so but with caution because that didn't work for me but this is definitely my favorite from the label line i was loving the le parfum but these days it's smelling a bit funky i don't know what's happened to it or maybe my nose has changed but i would definitely say this one is the best of the whole label line so definitely try this one out if you haven't already and it's once again label by jean paul gautier so the next perfume is love don't be shy extreme by killian this is neroli marshmallow vanilla um it's got rose the main difference between this and the original love don't be shy is the added rose and um it's a lot fresher so this one is definitely great for spring and summer even autumn i would say because it has the right amount of gourmand the right amount of freshness is just so beautiful it's a stunning white floral perfume that i think most people probably prefer this more to the love don't be shy because love don't be shy is heavy thick gourmand really really potent kind of scent but this is more wearable this is more likable this is just lighter area fresher just beautiful i really love it so this is love don't be shy extreme by killian the next perfume is duchess rose by penhaligons this is a rose scent with a difference this is a citrusy musky rose kind of scent very very different to any rose perfume you would ever come across i'm telling you this is rose done differently this is a very modern type of rose it gives me like rose petals um like a sweet rose petal sprinkled with baby powder because this is powdery in the dry down but it's not a lot of powder that's why i say sprinkled not poured on um, it's a powdery rose citrusy scent it remains fresh from start to finish it's a fantastic rose perfume there's quite a few of the portrait collection that i hear is being discontinued i really hope this isn't one of them but i would definitely suggest you try this one out if you like rose or you want to get into rose fragrances this is definitely one that i would highly recommend it's really beautiful it lasts long it projects well it leaves an amazing sillage it's just a beautiful perfume so this is duchess rose by penhagen so the next perfume is very good girl by carolina herrera this is my favorite from the line i don't like the original carolina herrera i just find it to just be a big fat no but this one is beautiful it's very sexy it's got lychee vetiver vanilla it's just a beauty it's such a beautiful scent um it does have a slight similarity to delina but it's nowhere near as tart as delina in the opening i feel like with delina the first thing that put me off because i didn't like delina for years guys for years i was just like i don't get the hype i don't like the opening because it's just too sour so if you're like me and you felt that way or you feel that way about delina this is a great alternative because yes it has that light you know but it's not as tart as delina it's a little bit sweeter it's a little bit more wearable and it's much much cheaper so very good girl it's amazing sexy i always wear this on a date night or in the evening when i'm going out with friends it just makes me feel it just makes me feel flirty it makes me feel like i need to have fun it just gives me that vibe it's a fantastic scent by carolina herrera and i highly recommend it so this is very good girl by carolina herrera and the last perfume on my list is dolce garden by dolce and gabbana this is a beautiful coconutty vanilla and frangipani um, perfume this one is i don't like i'm not a big fan of coconut perfumes i can count the amount of perfumes in my collection that has coconut because coconut for me can smell a little bit like scratchy and a bit too sharp but in this it smells like a creamy type of coconut like a creamy vanilla mix coconut and frangipani it's such a beautiful scent really stunning i don't know why they called it dolce garden because in my mind i'm thinking okay it's gonna be green but there's nothing green about this perfume at all um they should have picked a different name i don't know maybe dolce flowers or, or something like that but yeah this is a really stunning scent it lasts long it smells great it's tropical it's perfect for holidays i don't know why i didn't take this to dubai with me because when i was going to dubai i was just thinking 
I need something really, really fresh. But I never thought to get something tropical. I never thought to take something tropical with me. But next time I go on a holiday, this is definitely going to come with me. It's a beautiful scent. It's very unique. It's slightly similar to Cassili by Performs the Mali without the coconut. Like, um, Cassili doesn't have coconut. So imagine this perfume without coconut. To me, that smells very similar to Cassili. So if you don't have... The, let me even show you Cassili again. So this is Cassili by Performs the Mali. If you don't have the um, if you don't have the money for this one, you can definitely get this one. They are not exactly similar, but when you smell them side by side, you can get a little bit of you know one or two similarities with it without the coconut note um, once again. So this is Dolce Garden by Dolce and Gabbana. Really, really stunning perfume. So my lovelies, that is it for this video. If you guys have enjoyed watching, let me know what you were reaching for in the month of August. Comment it all down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye.